Hi everybody, welcome back to Lovely Girly Bits. We made it to the end of January. Well done, thank God. Oh my God. I thought we'd never get paid. A lot of products to talk to you about today, so I just thought that I would tell you about the things that I've loved in the month of January. I still don't have nail varnish on. I am working on getting my nails back in shape, and I might do a blog post on that this month. Yes, yes, maybe I will. Um, okay, let me show you what I've loved in the month of January, okay? Start off with a big one. This is so cute. This is from Kate Spade, and it says, Be Dazzling, and it is my makeup bag. Or so I thought. So when Joanne and I were in New York, we were in the where we, Woodbury Commons and they had a Kate Spade outlet. We went in, there was just so much stuff and it was all like 70% off and then I think extra percent off. It was ridiculously cheap. And so I saw this and I was like, oh my God, this is so cute. This will make the cutest makeup bag ever and it's sparkly and has to be dazzling on it. And so I just bought it. Got back to the hotel and I was like, oh God, it's very, very padded very good for like any like valuable makeup that I have and then the, I saw they had this inside yes it's the iPad mini case <laughs> it should have been like that in the shop but they just fucking knew the gobshites like me were coming along um, so yeah I don't have an iPad mini but I do have a makeup bag yeah I can only fit about four or five things into it because it's not very wide but I don't care I just love it so I'll use it for like when I need to protect things because it's really thick like on both sides I can't remember how much it was it doesn't matter because if I ever get an iPad mini sorted with this but until then this will be my makeup bag for two things so first up is the Bite Beauty Agave Lip Mask bought this in Sephora I had it on my wish list and I'm so glad that I bought it and I think I'm going to have to buy more of you um, even though this is going to last me for ages because a little goes a long way if you can get the stuff out of the tube like it's rock solid you have to like squeeze the living shine out of it and also like the packaging starting to go all scutchy and I think it's one of those because it's like the you know the metal foily kind of tubes I think that when I start switching it like an awful lot it's going to burst somewhere but I don't, it doesn't matter I'll depot it it's fine um, if you are looking for a lip treatment if you suffer from crusty dry lips like me in the winter you put the layer of this on at night Wake up with lovely voluptuous soft smooth lips and I can't say enough of good things about this. I did a blog post on this last week and I will leave the link below along with any other products that I've done reviews on already. I just love this. You can't get Bite Beauty here yet. Come on. Somebody bring it here. Next we have these little gems from Clarence. These are the Instant Light Lip Comfort Oil and they're from the Spring 2015 collection. And I have a blog post coming up on that soon on the whole thing. But oh, these are just so nice. Again, dry lips, these have oil in them, and I'm gonna do a full blog post on them just to give them a nice proper love, but the applicator, I don't know if you can see, it is so soft, it's the most comfortable applicator I've ever used. And I know that sounds weird, but when you try it, you will understand what I mean. This one is called, this is in the shade Honey, and this is in the shade Raspberry. And like, I know that this is like pink, but when you put it on the lips, it looks pretty sheer. Um, so it's just, it's one of those, really nourishing formulas and it leaves your it leaves your lips looking really glossy but it doesn't have that really sticky texture but it it is thicker than a regular lip gloss if that makes sense i've been applying them at my desk and i just find that if my like my lips again are really dry and cakey i don't want to put any color on them because sometimes i feel that it can enhance like any dryness that i have but these just oh, they're just fantastic it's like a treatment on your lips basically um but i'm gonna have a full blog post on this so i leave the link below when i do that and also from the clarence collection for spring the instant light lip balm perfector look and look this is the original this is like the instant light um, natural lip perfector which i use all the time and then this is the new version i'm going to do a blog post comparing and contrasting because they're slightly different but i've been hearing through this like i don't know what it, this smells like this. It doesn't have as creamy a texture as this one, but it just gives a really nice kind of milky sheen to the lips and it just, again, it just feels so comfortable. Clarence do lip products so well and I've been loving this. Since I started using this, I was like, oh my God, I need to find this one. And so these are together all the time. And they're, what is it? There's three, this comes in three shades and I really want to try the kind of rosewood shade. I think Mags did a blog post on that recently. And I'm very into kind of neutrally nudes. You know me, I am. So I know that if I buy it in this version, I'm going to buy it in this version too. They're so nice. If you have lips, you need to try these. You do. Earlier this month, I got to go to Isadora to check out all the new pr um, products that are coming for spring 2015. And one of the products was the Isadora Nude Sensation Fluid Foundation. It has a little squeezy doodah. Like a pipette. Hold on, I'll show you. I'm trying not to mess. Like so. And you like drop it onto the back of your hands. They say you can use your fingers. I do not use my fingers because... I wear like a lot of black and 
this colour. I don't know why I wear this colour because I'm so messy and I end up if I use my fingers and I'll touch it and then there'll be stuff all over the place and it'll be all over my phone. <laughs> so I use it with the brush and I use it with a makeup sponge. And I have a blog post coming on this uh, before and after photos but this stuff is fantastic. It's so pigmented. A little goes a long way so just what I do is I put it on the back of my hand and then I dab it where I want it and then I'll either use the brush if I want a, a sheer finish and I'll use the makeup sponge if I want a kind of a slightly thicker finish and it's one of those products that um, you can build upon because I find I get red like here and here on the schnoz like an awful lot so I can put a layer on assess the situation see if I need more and then apply more you now I find that it does cling to dry patches I'm going through a dry patch on my schnoz at the moment which I need to take care of because I stopped using I do you know what I just wrote the blog post today and I'm going to be saying all of this in the blog post but I stopped using my pixie glow tonic just to see if it is as good as I think it is and it is because I start getting like dry patches again and then I found that this clung to the dry patches so just as long as you're kind of smooth you're good to go this is lovely and it lasts all day once I set it with my powder really enjoying this only comes in six shades they need more Isadora get more shades and this is shade oh my god what is it called um shade 10 nude porcelain which is the lightest shade so and it matches me perfectly and um, but if you're paler than me you're gonna have to look um, elsewhere but I really enjoy this and I just enjoy pipettes Oh, makes me feel very scientific. Also from Isadora is this face sculptor. Oh my god, I love this so much. So inside, this is the shade Warm Peach and I think there's a pink one as well. It has obviously, as you can see, a bronzer, a cheek um, colour and a highlight and these are fantastic. I'm wearing the contour at the moment, uh, do you know, I'm wearing the whole thing on my face at the moment and you can see the sheen that it gives my skin. I hope you can because I can see it in the viewfinder. Um, this is perfect for on the go, it's so good because you can use the bronzer in your crease as well. You can use it to contour and it just gives a really soft finish to the skin. They blend so easily and if you're new to contouring and want to kind of get into that, then this is definitely worth checking out. And look, on the back, um, it shows you where to apply everything. It's just so good. You know, if you're because half the time, I don't know what I'm doing. Um, but I've been hair my way through this. I have a blog post coming up on these um, soon, maybe Friday. Um, and you might be able to win one or two of them. I've been loving the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow a lot. This is one that I use when I'm going out. This is the one that I use every day going to work because it just makes life so much easier. I'm in a rush and I don't have to like bring loads of things to put on my face. I just bring this one thing, my cheeks are done, and I'm good to go. Whereas this one, I just use this going out at night because the highlighter, it's more gold than the highlighter in this. This is more like kind of pinky, champagne-y um, toned where this is more gold and it's very strong for daytime use. But the sculpt shade is lovely. It's on par with this sculpt shade here. Like look, I put them together as pretty much, oops, the same shade. And as you can see, oh my god, I'm so awkward. <laughs> and as you can see, the um, Charlotte Tilbury, it's golder than the pinky one. But I have this on my face right now. I had this on my face last night. I just love it. I just Both of them just give a really soft, focused finish to the skin. And it makes you look like you're contoured, but that you haven't tried too hard. You know what I mean? Um, so I've been loving both of these. If you have the budget for this, get this. If you don't, get this. <laughs> But both of them are lovely and on my face constantly. This month, one of the things that stood out to me lots and lots was this Kevin Aquan eyeliner. It's called the Eye Pencil Primitif. And this is in the shade Basic Black. One side's very regular black on the one end and then this little smudger do that on the other end. Oh my God, this is the creamiest, blackiest black. Look, hello. So creamy. And I've been using this on the waterline, I'm wearing it today and I use it to tight line as well, but I find that it transfers onto the waterline. So if I am going to tight line, I need to wear it on the waterline. And I also have this um, along the upper lash line to just to smoke out the eyes that I have gone on today. Do you know what? I put on makeup today, like one thing today. Hold on, I'll show you. What did I put on? This, the Bourgeois Colour, what's it called? Colour Band um, Eyeshadow Liner in the mauve one. And I just put it all onto my eyes and then <laughs> I just lost the run of myself. 25 minutes later, I had like palettes out, I had this out, I had everything out <laughs> just to put it all on. But it, this is gorgeous to give just a bit of definition, a bit of smokiness to the eyes and it lasts all day. If you're going out at night, lashes on the waterline, sorted. Um, I got this in a goodie bag so I don't know how much it was. Yeah, so what else do I need to try from Kevin Kwan? Tell me. Joanne tried the foundation when we were at an event recently and she really liked it. And so what else do I need to try? Tell me. Because I have an eye pencil and I really like it. So for hair care, I've been loving these two dirty big green bottles of stuff. This is the Bedhead Urban Antidotes Re-Energize. This is the shampoo and the conditioner. And it says it's for normal hair that needs a daily pick-me-up. 
I have normal hair, well I have kind of oily roots and I'd need a daily pick me up because I wash my hair pretty much every day and I bought, you know what, I bought these last year and I was doing a big clear out of my bathroom and I found them and I was like oh my god I forgot that I loved these so much started to use them and any time I use this and I'm shaking them a lot, I know no, 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 no. Um, anytime I use them, people are like, oh my god, your hair is gorgeous, your hair is swishy. I just, all I do is this and this. I don't tend to style my hair like during the week because I don't have time for that kind of stuff. Like if I have a shower at night, it's right before I go to bed. If I have a shower in the morning, it's five o'clock in the morning. I ain't doing nothing else in my hair other than brushing it. Speaking of brush, I think I lost my mini tangle teaser. This makes me so sad. I had it the other day in my bag. And then I went to brush my hair and I couldn't find it. It's not in my car, it's not at work, it's not in the house. It gives me the most ultimate swishy hair ever. And even when I blow dry it, I blow my hair, blow dry my hair upside down with and I brush it as I'm going along and um, that's pretty much all that I do to my hair. And then when I take it, when I flip it back over and start to brush it out, it just looks so silky, smooth, shiny, soft. Everything that I want in my hair. And it's thanks to these. Now these were like 16 99 each in TK Maxx, I think. Oh yeah, 16.99 each. So worth it. And even though it took me about 10 minutes in the shower to try and get this open, because I was like, oh, how do you open this thing? Um, completely worth it, completely worth it. This is the, do you know what? I think this is the only um, shampoo and conditioner in a long time that I've repurchased because I love them so much. It just gives me really amazing hair. So if you see these, the green ones, Urban Antidotes, um, give them a go. And I think you'd be very happy with your hair. Finally, I have the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara do, 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 and I have a mini version because I got this as part of a set. But look at the brush, it's like, it's wider on both ends, narrow on the middle, and I have it on today. And if you're looking for dramatic, volumized, thick lashes, this is the one to go for. Now I know you can only get it in some, oh, can you get it here? Do they sell Too Faced? I have it in my mind that they have it Too Faced in Boots Liffey Valley. Do they? Will somebody tell me? Because I think I'm going to buy the full version of this. I love this so much. It gives me like really long, thick, voluptuous, swishy lashes. When I'm wearing a lot of eye makeup like this, um, you need a mascara that's going to hold its own. And this does it big time. Doesn't clump, doesn't flake, doesn't smudge. Just, and I don't know if it's better than sex because the two things don't really have anything to do with each other. Do they? For the normal person, wearing a, a mascara like this for daytime might be a bit too much. I lash it on like there's no tomorrow. It's so good. But yeah, let me know if you can get it here in Ireland, please. So I could spend more money. Also, another favourite thing is that I got to meet Laura from my makeup perspective recently. I forgot. She's so nice. It's exactly like she is on the interwebs. Exactly like she is on the YouTube. Personality looks. She is stunning. So nice to have proper chats with her just for a few minutes. But hopefully we're going to meet up again soon. And what else did I do in January? And I got to test drive a Toyota I go for a week. Can't say no to that. Usually I try to keep things pretty much beauty related on the blog and everything. But when you get an email going, Hello, would you like to test drive a car for a week? You say, Yes. Yes, I will, thank you very much. Because <laughs> my poor little mama was on its last legs. But I drove around for a week, took um, three photos cause, as part of a challenge, and I'll post the photos on Instagram or else I'll try and insert them here because I loved my photos. Um, but yeah, it was just great to see how the other half lived, like in a brand new car pretty much for like a week. I got back into my old car and I couldn't even drive the stupid thing after a week. <laughs> but it was just such a really good month and I'm glad that we got through it in one piece. There's so many exciting things going to be happening in February. Um, so I might actually vlog a bit of it because um, next, on Wednesday, this is going up on Sunday, Wednesday, Joanna and I are going to meet Anna from Viviana Just Makeup and Lily Pebbles and Space IK. So excited to meet them because I love the two of them. I'm going to a hen this, this month and I'm going to a wedding this month and it's going to be a very crazy month. Those are my monthly favourites and I will see you um, in the next video. I have a few videos planned that I'm very excited about. So thanks so many for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!